What's good fam, it's Asia and today I'm going to show you how I apply full coverage nails using builder gel and I'm going to give you some tips for how you can style them and shape them after you're done. So let's get into it. Step one, you're going to size your nails. I'm using the ASP Long and Luxurious Full Coverage Nails. When sizing your nails, you want to make sure that the tip fits from the left side of your nail to the right side of your nail. It's better for it to be slightly big, but you're looking for the perfect match. So keep trying until you find one that fits. And in the rare event that one does not fit, I'm gonna also show you what to do as well. So here's the nail that does not fit. It's too big around the cuticle and the sides. So I'm going to start by taking off a little bit of the nail from the sides by filing it down. And then I'm going to gently begin to shape the cuticle as well. I'm making it more rounded because as you saw, it was too big around my cuticle, but also the shape of my cuticle is more round than these nails. Next, you want to take the nail file and buff in an upward direction. This will help get rid of the excess nail and to give it a nice, finish edge and this is something that you want to do on all of the nails that you file you also want to make sure that every single nail has been filed around the cuticle if it doesn't fit properly so as you can see this one's still a little bit off so i'm just going to shape it a little bit more after checking the shape and make sure that you check the shape of the nail frequently so that way you do not over file and now it fits and i can move on to the next nail these are all of my nails after they have been shaped and sized step two is preparing your natural nail the first step is pushing back our cuticles so i'm going to take a cuticle softener and i'm just going to put one dot on each of my nails and then i'm going to begin to rub that in once it's applied to both hands you want to allow it to sit for one minute then we're going to take this beauty creations cuticle pusher and i'm going to begin to gently push back my cuticle you could also use the press on nail tip to do this as well if you don't have a cuticle pusher next i'm going to take this fine grit buffer block and i'm going to lightly and gently buff the top of my nails i'm creating a little bit of texture on my natural nail which will help the press on to adhere better you want to make sure that you do not over file your nails just get all of the surface one time that should be good enough and it should be very light pressure so once I have completed all of my nails this is what it looks like and now we're ready to remove the dust to do that I'm going to be using the ASP 2-in-1 dehydrator and cleansing wipe and I'm going to just put a little bit of that onto a lint-free nail wipe and wipe away all of the dust from my nail next we're going to file the inside of the press on nail now you can do this with the standard nail file however it is a little bit more challenging i like to actually use an e-nail file so all i'm going to do is lightly buff out the inside of the nail making sure to get all of the surface where my natural nail will touch this is going to help it to adhere better so i'm going to check along the way and make sure that i've got all of the part that will be touching my nail i need to get a little bit more for this particular one so I will file upward a little bit and then I will check again and now it's good to go. Step three, you are going to apply your tips. I'll be using the ASP USB LED curing lamp. This lamp is great because it does not have a back to it. This makes it easier to press on the nail as you adhere it. So we're gonna take the bonder first and we're gonna apply it onto our natural nail. Make sure you coat the entire surface of your nail and allow it to fully air dry. Next, you're going to take your builder gel and paint a thin layer onto your nail. To get a thin layer, you want to make sure that you're removing the excess polish by brushing the brush against the rim of the bottle. Then you need to do a very light stroke on top of the nail. Make sure that you're getting the entire surface of your nail. I like to do that by rotating my nail like so. It helps me to see all sides. Next, we're gonna cure it. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna use this LED lamp from the kit because I already have it. You could use the other lamp that we talked about earlier. Now, what I'm gonna do is allow this to cure for 10 seconds. Do not allow it to cure for longer than that. Once 10 seconds has passed, we're gonna move on to adding the builder gel to the press on nail. You wanna apply a nice thin layer to this, making sure that you coat the entire surface that you buffed. Then you want to apply it to your nail using a 45 degree angle and you want to press your natural nail in an upward direction as you press the nail down onto your natural nail and you want to get rid of all of the air bubbles make sure you remove any excess gel polish before you cure it as well 
you can hold the nail down with your finger that is next to it or another easier way to do it is actually this method which I'm about to show you now so after you painted it on you cut on the light then press the nail downward press your natural nail upward get rid of all the air and then hold it as you hold it put it in underneath the lamp for about 10 seconds and then after it started to adhere for about 10 seconds you're gonna remove your hand and bring your hand around to the other side of the lamp and then squeeze the sides of the press on gently to make sure that it's adhering properly then you can cure it for an additional 30 seconds and that's it so next you're gonna fix the shape of your nail this is where I go in and make sure that it's straight and I also make sure that each edge is nice and smooth after you've shaped all of your nails we're gonna move on to buffing them so I take the same nail file I'm removing the shine from the nail making sure to file from side to side and I'm getting the entire surface of the press on nail I'm also using this as an opportunity to fix the shape of the nail further so once we're done with that I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free nail wipe and just remove all of the dust then step four you're ready to paint your nails so i'm going to take that bonder and i'm going to apply it to the press on nail and allow it to fully air dry then i'm going to take the asp base coat and i'm going to apply that a nice thin layer and i'm going to cure it underneath the lamp for 30 seconds next i'm going to apply this light cream shade and i'm going to do a very thin layer i'm making sure to coat the entire nail and i'm also going to take a little bit of nail polish remover in a cap and i'm going to take a brush and just clean up around the edges i'm using acetone but it would be safer especially if it's your first time to use a non-acetone that way you're not melting away your tips so i've given all of my nails one layer and i'm going to apply a second coat and i'm also going to make sure to cure it for 30 seconds seconds now I'm gonna make some really easy nail art using this cine brush and blue crush from ASP so I'm taking a little bit of blue crush and I'm putting it onto some aluminum foil and then I'm creating some wavy lines with the detail brush I'm really not doing any particular order or design I'm just having fun with it that's one of the greatest things about wavy lines you literally can do whatever you want so after I've completed the first layer I'm going to cure it then after I've cured it for 30 seconds I'm going to retrace those lines for a second layer and cure it again then I'm moving on to this nice purple shade creating wavy lines that intersect with the blue lines just to add an additional touch after applying two layers and curing both layers I moved on to a top coat I chose ASP top coat and I'm using this just to keep it in the same family I made sure to paint the entire surface of the nail and to remove any excess polish from the sides before curing and this time I cured for one minute Next, we're going to take the ASP 2-in-1 Dehydrator and Cleansing Wipe, and I just applied it to a lint-free wipe, and I'm using that to remove the sticky layer from the top of the nails. Once you've wiped off your nails, you're going to add a cuticle oil. I'm using the Beauty Secrets Cuticle Oil, and I just paint it onto my cuticles and gently rub it in. That's it for this super easy manicure and you can find all of the products that I use at Sally Beauty. 